I'm working on an Invisible Man project, trying to make a whole person disappear from scratch. It is pretty much our own animation about a clock that uh, doesn't know how to tell time. It's supposed to be an interview of a character. He's an old man who's afraid to grow old. I feel like I can hold my own in any program. You know, I love using Photoshop. There's just so many more things that I want to do. Now I feel like I have the confidence to do it. Well, I think Brevard Public Schools is a pretty progressive school. Our district is a very high-performing district. We're high in multiple of areas, not only in academics, but also in the arts. I think it takes, first of all, some success stories and to have some people, you know, leading the charge. And the example here is Pete Episcopo and his students. What you have to do is think, if the audio needs some tweaking, it needs some tweaking. That's just how it works. The Academy was requested by our school district. And so I always wanted to have something where the focus for the students was on a, a curriculum that was sort of intertwined around digital media. I think my students really look at the ACA as an important step. I've told them it is because that also goes in your portfolio. And let's face it, whenever you can achieve anything like that in your portfolio, it's just good to put in there. It was perfect. I mean, like, couldn't have been any better. I'm going like, what template did he use for this? I'm going like, he actually, what? If you didn't have it in your resume and you were going to an art college, it'd be kind of a competition between grades. And uh, in this, you kind of have a leg up to where you already know about Photoshop other than a student coming in not knowing Photoshop and is not certified. I think that the certification though, it's a benchmark for them. They learned some content and they, they were tested to see whether they got it or not. So for them to pass some of that is an achievement. Even if I don't have a career path, oh, something I'll always have and it's kind of like I can keep going on with the new versions of Photoshop and keep getting certified. Now I know what to look for. My new job, actually, I just got the uh, employer. He said he saw it on the application. We will need some graphic designers. He said, since I'm certified, I'll come in and I'll get a full-time job doing that. What I would do is get this to work first. Make sure that that's just right. in sync with, yeah. I mean, you got some great shapes here, right? Our students have responded to this. It's incredible. We've averaged around 94% passing rate each year. Uh, we did have a 100% passing rate one year. That was our, what we call our perfect season. Uh, and we're talking, we're testing up to 200 students a year. So to be able to have those kinds of numbers means your students are taking this seriously. These certifications are going to help employers see that I can do great things. She didn't do well on the Adobe exam the first time, and yet she was a gifted artist. Well, eventually she passed, and she got accepted at Ringling College of Art and Design. My mom, I'm the first of her children to ever get a scholarship, to ever even want to go to college. She's just amazed that it's finally happened. The industry drives what we do. And when we talk to folks in the digital world that are using Photoshop and Flash and Dreamweaver, we knew that's what we needed to incorporate in our program. I definitely feel like it's just becoming a part of everyday life. You see posters everywhere, you see, you know, people making videos for everything. It's a lot easier to grasp something now when you see it versus just listening to it. Other schools are learning from what's going on here at this school that you need to make it a part of your school culture, that this is what's expected. We're going to be always there meeting the challenge, using these tools and adjusting our curriculum and testing with the great tools that we have from Certiport and from Adobe and all these, these great companies.